Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at a really easy 2D and 3D infinite tiling system in Unity. I'm going to be doing it in 2D, you can do it in 3D, you can do it in 2D, it really doesn't matter. The same concept applies, you just have to apply it in a different space. Before we start the video, I did not come up with this idea. I found it on YouTube and I thought this would be a good video to make for today just to kind of push it forwards and to get people to know about this really easy and simple method. So let's get on and do it. So I've just got this basic thing and obviously as you can see when, when we move to the right uh, it, there's this clear border of the edge. Now how do we get rid of that? So uh, we'd actually want to move our thing along with our camera. However if we move it along with our camera as you can see we don't get the <laughs> same effect as if we were to just move. So what we want is an effect that when our camera moves it appears to be going the same. Uh, so let's add a component to this uh, and let's call this uh, snap follow. Uh, let's double click this to open up in Visual Studio. Okay, inside of Visual Studio, we're going to remove everything uh, and we're going to create a public transform uh, called the follow target. Uh, and let's also create a public float for called the snap value. Then an update function, let's remove the private and create a vector2 and this will be the stored position and let's set it equal to a new vector2. Now if you're doing it in vector3 you'd obviously just uh, in 3d space you'd do it uh, as vector3 instead of vector2 uh, and I will go over what you do instead of what I'm doing now for a vector3 instead. Okay, so uh, let's now put in our follow target dot position dot x. Uh, and what we actually need to do is round this. So we can go uh, follow target. So mathf dot round, because that is a function in the math uh, library. Uh, and let's also divide this by a snap value. And then afterwards, we're going to multiply it by the snap value. The real math, again, is in the, uh, is in the guy. Uh, well, the guy does it. Uh, down in the description below if you want to know all the math stuff i'm not going to go over it but basically we want to divide it and then multiplying it so it s sticks with our camera smoothly uh and then let's just do it for the y so math f dot round uh and here we're going to put in our follow target dot position i always do pause position dot y uh divided by our snap value uh, multiply by a snap value. Now for 3D space, what you're gonna have to do is obviously replace this with 3D and then in between you just do a little something like this and set this to zero uh, and this will set it to the ground value and also uh, instead of Y you'd put Z. Um, that's assuming that your plane is on the ground, your infinite. Then we can simply set our transform.position is equal to our pause value. Let's go back to unity. Now we can set our camera rig as our follow target and snap value to two. Two tends to work with me. Um, it should do with you. Uh, and as you can see, we can just keep going and it won't stop. Just play for playing around with the snap value until it works. I'm sure if you do like one might also work. Yeah. It, I, it, I really don't think it fully matters on the snap value apart from this like uh it will as you can see it, it's updating every 13 so it, it like if it's a high number it will two tends to work fine but it's just however many times it updates so anyway guys hope you enjoyed today if you did like subscribe also remember go check out this video help him out anyway guys i will see you next time